On today's video, we're testing hemp insulation's fire resistance abilities with some other common insulation types. I'm Casey Gray, the founder of The Conscious Builder, and on this channel, we help you build and live more consciously. If you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button, and don't forget to check out the links in the description below. This is somewhat of a follow-up to our recent video we did about hemp insulation install. On that project, the client found a hemp bat insulation that they really wanted to use as part of their wall assembly. So we installed what he had supplied, did some research on it, and then shared our thoughts on the product. During the installation of the drywall, the installer smelled burning after installing a board and roto zipping around the light switch. So Carly from our team quickly removed the sheet of drywall and found that there was some smoldering of the hemp insulation in behind the drywall around this switch. This obviously raised some concerns for us because there was no wire hit or anything like that, and hence why we are doing this video today. The findings here are actually quite surprising, so be sure to watch until the very end. Starting from the left, we have 1.5 inches of rock wall comfort board, one inch of expanded polystyrene type two insulation, and three inches of rock wool safe and sound. For convenience and safety, we used a blowtorch to light the insulation. Immediately upon starting the test, the EPS caught flame and began burning rapidly, reducing in size significantly. The comfort board on the left maintains its form for the most part, and the comfort bat goes a little quicker than the comfort board. Now at this point, we've replaced the EPS with a 3.5 inch fiberglass bat and already we see significant burning. Seems to be about four to five times as fast as the Rockwell products and quite a bit more smoke. As we approach the one minute mark, we already have a large hole through the fiberglass insulation. Here's what happens with the hemp bat. Immediately upon lighting it, it catches flame. And at the one minute mark, we can see that the Rockwell products continue to maintain their form while we see significant burning on the hemp. We stopped shortly after the two minute mark and we watered down the hemp insulation. The Rockwell products actually did not have any flame at all and we actually didn't need to be watering them down at all, so we did not. What was most surprising to us was that the hemp insulation continued to burn even after it had been watered down. Unreal, yeah, the wind's catching it. It's gonna light up again. I don't think I can hold on to it much longer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there we go. There we go. The choice of insulation for your home is, is really up to you. So personally, I like to use products and strategies that add a layer of insurance. So Rockwell is still my go-to option whenever possible. But fire is only one factor to consider when choosing the best insulation for your home. So be sure to look at all aspects before choosing what is best for you and your project. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really do appreciate you. If you're looking to support the channel and you are looking to grow your residential construction business, check out the Conscious Builder Academy for our latest course. Our latest course is all about how to market and sell passive houses and other high performance homes. In this course, you'll learn how to improve your sales process and you'll receive a lot of insights from other successful high performance builders. You can also check out the free content we have created like the course on the five things that I wish I knew before I started my business. Links as usual are in the video description below. And until next time, I'm Casey Gray and remember to live consciously.